Hey everyone, Kiwi King 77 here from the Android Creative Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to change your screen resolution on your Android phone. You need to be rooted for this uh, app to work, so just a heads up there. I'm showing you this on the Samsung Epic Touch because uh, some find the screen resolution to be a little too uh, big. Uh, basically the icons are a little too big for them, so are the, uh, the status bar icons, but that is changeable. Um, you do sometimes you might get some compatibility issues with certain apps if you do change your resolution So just a heads up there, but anyways, I you're probably gonna need to install a custom launcher if you have touch was launcher So just a heads up there because changing your screen resolution will uh, cause your uh, touch was launcher to look goofy But to get this app, it's go ahead and just search for resolution root so just type in resolution root and go to apps they actually just updated this and put a new one on the market so it doesn't look like it has any downloads um, I just realized from my download from yesterday that it has updated you can try any other apps that you want I like LCD resolution root so click on it and just download it real quick so as you can see it's a zero plus downloads that's just because they put a new version out as you can see, October 27th right there. Just a heads up there in case you're skeptical. But I've been using this app and it works really good. But anyways, once that is done, go ahead and go to your app drawer. And it should be in your app drawer. I have Go Launcher in case anyone is wondering. I'm also running the Starburst ROM with the ice cream sandwich theme in case you are wondering about that as well. But anyways, go ahead and go to your app drawer. And uh, it's called LCD Resolution right there. Select it and it brings this up. So what that means is it's... Uh, 240 is the default uh, basically what it's set at and um, And to change it the lower the number the smaller everything's gonna get the higher the number the bigger everything's gonna get So I find the optimal Basically resolution re resolution for me is 200 which is 960 by 576 default uh, It's 800 by 480 but I'm going to put it down to 960 by 576, which is 200. And I'm going to hit apply. And you'll notice everything gets smaller. And it'll ask for root access as well. It says, uh, do you change the density to 200? System will be restarted. It'll soft reboot your phone. It reboots really fast. So I'm going to hit yes. It's, as you can see, it asks for super user access. So allow it super user access. And it should soft reboot your phone. Once it does, then you should, uh, you're, Res screen resolution is going to change. It's going to be smaller. So as you can see already, everything is looking smaller. I'm going to go ahead and go to my Go Launcher. And as you can see, the screen space is a lot smaller. Everything is, all the icons are smaller, all that stuff. I mean, it, you have a lot more screen space. Everything looks nicer to me. This is my optimal setting. This is what I will probably always set it at. So just a heads up there. Um, swipe down on the notification bar everything is just smaller you can also make it bigger I believe with this app you might have to toggle Wi-Fi if your Wi-Fi doesn't connect after you soft reboot your phone so just make sure you toggle Wi-Fi to reconnect to it but I'm gonna go back into the app and show you guys you can actually make everything bigger in case you like everything bigger so 240 is default I'm gonna go ahead and put it at maybe I haven't tried bigger yet so I'm gonna try 270 and see what it looks like so I'm gonna hit apply re, re, soft reboot my phone and when it comes back on it, everything should be bigger because I made the screen resolution bigger and as you can see everything is now much bigger let's take a look at I'm gonna go to the goal launcher text is a lot bigger icons are all bigger wow this is Still looking really good. The, I'll show you the reason I decide to use a... So as you can see, some widgets might overlap on the screen, so just a heads up there. But other than that, if you do enjoy bigger icons, need bigger icons, whether for any reason you... Bigger text as well, feel free to use this. Um, check out the dialer. Let's see how much bigger it is. It might look goofy. See, as you can see, it kind of goes off the page, but it's definitely workable. But... Anyways, um, the reason I tell you to not use TouchWiz Launcher, I haven't tried it on bigger. I'm going to go to the TouchWiz Launcher and see what it looks like. As you can see, TouchWiz Launcher is just goofy when it comes to using it. As you can see, the dots are right there. It just looks kind of bad with everything. But And I'm going to go ahead and actually go to my app drawer and show you guys what it looks like on smaller resolution. Actually, it's kind of funny. I'm going to go even smaller than 200 and I'm going to go to 180 and show you guys how much smaller it can really get. So I'm going to go ahead and put it down there and reboot my phone again and I'll show you how goofy TouchWiz Launcher looks when everything's smaller. 
it's really it's really pointless to do this if you really want to use TouchWiz Launcher. But now I'm going to go ahead and unlock my screen. I'm going to choose TouchWiz Launcher. And as you can see, it only uses a certain section of the screen as the launcher. So your home screen is only in this area right here. So that's what's goofy about TouchWiz. I mean, if you do want to use TouchWiz, feel free, but you can't do anything with right here on the phone. It's just nothing. So, but if I went home and went to the Go Launcher, there you go. See, you're using the whole entire space now, which is why you need a custom launcher. But as you can see, everything is a lot tinier and smaller, but still works really well. Um, as I said, you might get some compatibility errors with maybe market apps. So just a heads up there. But other than that, that's how you change your screen resolution on your Android phone. If you do run into any problems, have any questions at all, feel free to ask. Leave a comment. You can follow me on Twitter and like me on Facebook as well. Links will be in the description of the video. And be sure to subscribe for future how-to videos. And thanks for watching. Hope you guys liked the video.